good morning. This bed set up here is way more comfortable than I thought. That's why uh, the, uh, the sun is up right now. I slept through all of my alarms. So we've got a couple things to do before we get out and get fishing today. So let's uh, get cleaned up, get something to eat and uh, go find some fish somewhere to that. So yesterday was very much just a big travel day. I, uh, I left South Jersey at four o'clock in the morning. I drove a little over five hours to meet up with uh, my new friend, Paulie of Get Real Bass Fishing. He kind of showed me around a couple spots here. But overall, the fishing was just really slow. So we were pretty exhausted after yesterday's trip, obviously getting a well-rested late start today. But we're gonna get back on the road shortly and uh, start making our way to the South Shore. Probably gonna do a little ocean inlet action today. I'm gonna get some calories and some caffeine in for me here. And uh, I'll catch you guys at the spot. Day two of Long Island. Should be a fun one. All right, folks, we just arrived at the SEM location for the day here. But before we go over the exact game plan, I wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, No Surrender Gear. So No Surrender Gear makes the backpack I'm currently sporting right now. And this is actually the backpack I've been fishing with as my daily go-to for the last four months or so. So in addition to the Echo backpack, I'm currently sporting right now and that we're gonna be fishing with all day. They also make a bunch of other fantastic gear. Whether you're fishing, hiking, camping, skiing, any outdoor activity, they've got the gear for you. So again, huge shout out to No Surrender Gear for sponsoring today's video. You guys can support me by supporting the companies that support me. So if you're interested in checking out this backpack for yourself, by the end of the video, I'll put a little link down in the description where you can check out their website for yourself. So uh, with that being said, currently we're embarking on a half mile hike here through the dunes. Game plan for right now, we're probably gonna start inside the inlet, work our way to the beach if we have to. It really is just so interesting to me just how unique the landscape is here in Long Island, especially out here. I just drove past some of those expensive homes that I've ever seen but right behind me here. And it's about as undeveloped as remote as you can get. And in spots like this, catching fish is just a bonus. It just so happens this is one of the fishiest areas on the East Coast. Just got to take it all in sometimes. Really such a beautiful spot. And uh, hopefully we can put the cherry on top by catching a couple fish out here in the salt. All right, so we've made it out to the inlet over here. There's a bunch of people fishing on those rocks over there. A couple guys fishing on these rocks over here out towards the tip, but um, have not seen any bent rods yet, but that doesn't mean there's not fish here or won't be fish moving through here uh, throughout the tide. So just gonna have to put our time in today, find the fish ourselves. So let's uh, start making a couple casts out here. So my first thought here is that I may have come a little under gun. Just brought the eight foot rod out here because I'm fishing off the jetty. But uh, if the fish push in close, I really shouldn't have a problem here. Starting off, we're gonna be throwing around this little Joe Bags chicken scratch swarter here. Start fishing the uh, middle of the inlet here. Push out to the tip of the jetty in a little bit. And the surf is really, really calm. Might even start walking the sand. But see if we can find any big blue fish pushing through. I love to get a bass. And if things are really slow, we can always try for fluke. So let it rip. There's a fish. That did not take long at all, dude. Oh, big blue, big blue. That was second cast here on the side of the jetty. Big blue fish, dude. Especially for this tackle here. Second cast. Oh, sick, man. Find a good rock we can get him at. It's a big fish. Oh yeah. There we go. Got him up. I don't know how he ate that, but it freaking. Oh, it just popped off. All right, so that did not take very long at all. Second cast here with the little chicken scratch swarter. 
I literally made three casts of the inlet, figured that was just gonna be dead. It's way calmer over here. I have the wind at my back, just better conditions overall for casting, but did not think I was gonna get smoked like that. I flipped him on the jetty, he slid into the rock and he just swam back out there. So it's cool to know there's some life out here. It did not take long at all. Hopefully it's not a uh, second cast curse. So let's uh, keep ripping a couple more casts around. Hopefully get the next fish in our hands. Phew. That was so crazy. There's a fish literally right here. And uh, that was quite the battle on this little setup here. Let's hope that's not the only one around. All right. Well, looks like we caught the only fish here on the uh, ocean side. So there is definitely some life starting to materialize in here. Got birds working there. I've seen some sporadic fish blow up here and there. So I'm going to march my way to this little outcropping here. So far though, the second cast curse is real. All right, let's try switching this up here. All right, there seems to be a big concentration of bait just getting stuck in this rip. So to get some more penetration and some more distance here, we're going to switch up to the uh, good old little diamond jig here. Bomb that bad boy out there. There he is. That's a fish right there, bro. Right on my feet. Oh, and the current feels way bigger. Just a little blue fish there, bro. Little dinker. <laughs> All right, there we go. First landed fish of the day. Little tiny cocktail blue right there. Send him back. All right. Well, I'm pretty beat right now. The bite, or uh, lack thereof, is very, very slow. But uh, all we've caught is that one second cascader and uh, that little cocktail there. And that was about an hour and a half, two hours ago. So I think the plan right now is to uh, walk the jetty back to the car, switch out the eight foot rod here for my surf rod, and then uh, come back out and maybe try to hit up the sand, see if we can find some fish along the ocean front. So uh, that's the game plan. Pretty exhausted so far. I've been non-stop casting for the last three hours or so. A little tired, but the send never ends. We've got fish to catch. Let's start our trek back and get ready for part two. Ah. All right, no love here on the base side either. Let's uh, get re-rigged and get back out front. All right, just got back to the truck, tied up the, uh, the stall on the airwave combo here. Time to march back through the dunes. Got a couple more hours to fish. Let's uh, hope our luck turns around here out front. Well, it looks like those kids finally left their, uh, their spot here on the tip. Still got some outgoing tide here. I'm thinking that we can fish the end of this outgoing here as it switches to the incoming. We could find a couple fish, but um, after the day I've had so far, confidence is not too high, but you never know. Let's get out on the tip, grind it out. Well, let's start ripping around some casts here. Starting off throwing the uh, Big old bone hydro minnow here on the uh, VR-150 paired on our Tsunami Airwave Elite 11 foot setup. And uh, oh, hopefully a big school of blues. Oh, good. nice, nice, nice. Well, that sucks for sure. All right, there's fish blowing up here a little bit, but I just blasted off the hydro minnow. I don't know why it fell off. There's no chips in all the guides here. So the, uh, the sand continues. Let's re-rig. Second time's a charm, hopefully. Yeah, bit right there, I think. There he is. Oh man, knew I just got bit. <laughs> Soft little bite. All right, that was first cast back out there though. Oh, they're blowing up right there, right out there. Come on. There he is. Oh my god, these hooks gotta suck. Fish just blew up right next to me there too. Look at that. Two scales on there. All right. If we miss one more, we'll have to switch it up. Oh, they just blew up right there in front of me. There he is. There he is. All right. Woo! Not a jumbo, but a, a fighter. Oh, it's a bass! What? 
No way. All right, well, we got to get this guy in because there might be some more out there. That's just a little rat, but not what I thought I was going to catch. Bruh, did not think I was going to catch a freaking schoolie out here. Not after seeing 100,000 bluefish caught. Just a little tiny rat there. Not even going to show him the main camera, but so I'll give him a, a quick, quick release. Find a good spot for him. See you, dude. Perfect. Awesome release. That is not what I thought I was going to catch here. It's been literally bluefish all day, but maybe here at the tide there's going to be some bass pushing him and uh you know hopefully some bigger ones all right we caught our gator on this bad boy earlier today so there's no reason why they shouldn't chew the chicken scratch swatter again so uh well, we don't really have any time to waste here with miss fish i'm really thinking this tide switch bite window here could be on fire we could just hook up There he is. Yep. That's the blue fish, though. Is that a blue? Oh my god, no, it's another little bass. It's a little micro bass blitz over here. Alright, well, not exactly what I was, you know, hoping for today, but we're getting bit. So I'm not gonna complain after the uh incredibly slow action we've had thus far. Oh yeah. That is a micro striped bass though. See you dude. They keep getting smaller. There's got to be at least, you know, a, a slot out there at least, right? There's a fish. Just a little bigger. I feel them a little blue fishy. Hey, a little blue fish there. Oh. It's the fun part. All right. Yeah, not flipping this guy. Just a little one, though. Oh, yeah. That ain't a bad fish. Oh, nice. Nice two piece over here. Little, uh, probably five, six pound blue fish there. Send him back. See you, dude. All right. Good to know there's still a couple fish around. Shout out for this rod just breaking in half on me here. Oh, no more micro bass. There's a, uh, you know, medium sized little racer bluefish there. My only regret is the fact it wasn't out here earlier. Let's keep on casting. If they're biting, we'll keep cat. <sighs> Dang, those VMCs are sharp. So if they're biting, we'll keep casting. There he is. There he is. I love that twitch, twitch pause on the uh, swarter here. Oh, 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 come on now. Oh, away from those rocks. This way, this way. That ain't a bad fish at all. Little racer there. There we go. Yeah, not a bad blue fish. Another probably a five ish pounder there. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> all right, see you, Mr. Demon. Nope. All right, well, if I caught another one, I was going to switch up the bait. But if the bluefish are going to get bigger, we'll continue throwing the swarter. I've tried a couple other plugs. No love, so. I did see some sand eels wash up earlier. So I'm thinking the fish are keyed in on small baits. This is about the smallest bait I got to throw, too. So it's working. Let's keep on catching them. All right, so that outgoing current has almost completely died. It's come down to just a trickle here. That incoming tide should start any second now. And uh, we are positioned in the perfect spot to take advantage of that. That current's just going to be sweeping, wrapping around here. And, uh, oh, there's a bite. Man, they are chewing now. But as that current picks up, we should be able to catch more fish. Oh, look who it is. And maybe even some bigger ones. <laughs> Little diaper striper right there. That's almost every cast here now on this tip. Mom always said fishing this jay is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. There he is. That might be a real fish right there, dude. That might be a real one right there, baby. Oh yeah, that is a real one. That's a nice fish, bro. Dang, son, that guy smoked it. I'm gonna hold my breath here, but 
definitely a bigger fish here. This is our first bite in quite some time too. That incoming tide really started to come in and uh, looks like it brought something bigger with it. It's probably a real big blue fish, dude. Jeez, bro. Oh, jumbo blue fish. Jumbo blue fish right there. Oh. That's that gator we were looking for, baby. Jumbo. Jumbo blue fish. There we go. Big one there, man. Woo. Yeah, that's a proper, proper blue fish. Giant one. That's, yeah. That's pushing 10 pounds for sure right there. Definitely want to get a weight on this guy here. All right, so it's my cheap Amazon fish scale here. All right, that's like a 14 pounder right there. Nice fish, bro. 14 pound blue fish right there. Chunky, chunky fish. All right, dude. Thanks for playing 14 pounder. Awesome, bro. See you, dude. Awesome, kicked off strong. Woo! The small fish died out as that incoming current picked up and it was about 20 casts, but no fish, couple small bites till we got that uh, proper, proper gator blue fish, 14 pounds. Is a big freaking fish. I think it was my biggest bluefish I ever have uh, have landed or, or caught. I'm stoked. And that fish alone, I would call a success. Absolute jumbo. Put up a crazy fight. Those fish like to travel in big wolf packs. So I'm assuming there's some more giant bluefish lurking out here. And that tide line is setting up phenomenally right in front of me here. Oh, there he is. Another nice one, dude. Ain't no dink. On a mega, but that's a probably eight pounder right there. Yeah, buddy. Proper blue fish. Oh, no, no, no. He has my sworder on him. He's gone, isn't he? No way. Hit the rock right there and snapped me off. Oh, wow, that's brutal. Well, there's another chewing and there's some bigger ones in here, so we'll probably eat other baits now. Damn, I really like that bait though. <laughs> Rest in peace. All right, trading one chicken scratch for another. Let's see if this guy works. Classic Yuzori Hydro Minnow LC. The Swarter put up some numbers, but uh, unfortunately my monkeying around on the rocks. <laughs> cost me the most productive plug of the day, so. Let's hope the gators aren't too picky. Oh, oh, come on, eat it, eat it. Eat it, he's blowing up on it. There he is, oh my God, he smacked it like freaking five times. Right in the rip there. Big fish, whatever it is. Feels like a nice blue, probably foul hooked. Amount of times he smacked that thing. Oh no, it's just a big one. Just a big one, not foul hooked at all. Yeah, there's big fish out there now, bro. Ate it head first. Oh my gosh. What just happened there, dude? Probably just snapped me off. Ate it head first, yup. Dude, I am throwing plugs to the wolves here. Damn, son. Big blue fish, literally just frayed it. 60 pound leader, he ate it head first, nothing I could do about that. Damn, son. I think it's my last TA clip I have, too. <laughs> Brutal. All right, oh. Getting a little tired of donating plugs here. We wanna try something else for a uh, different species. All right, well, now that that current really is making a defined rip right here, we might as well throw the bucktail here, especially after donating two swimming plugs in a row. See, no reason why this wouldn't work for, for, for blues. But I'm looking for some striped bass that could be here hanging out a little deeper in the water column, so. Just rip some fan casts around here. See if we can pick something up. There he is. That's a good fish right there. That's just giant. That's a mega. 
That's just giant right there. That's a big bass or big, big blue. Big fish, dude, right in this little current I've been working. Ooh, big fish. There he is. All right, good hook set. Thought it was a big bass the way hitting that current there for a sec. But just another big gator. Oh my God. <laughs> another plug gone. Wish I would have brought some heavier leader out here or something. That is brutal. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. There he is. Yeah, decent bluefish right there. Oh. There we go. Spat it right there. On the uh, little super strike darter right here. I'm quickly becoming beat. Been a long day, but uh, each fish, little boost of adrenaline here. I've been getting bit like every cast. The current is just warping this thing, but they're biting right here at the uh, the edge of this little current break here. Literally every cast so far. That was just the first one that stuck. Just got bit. There he is. There he is. That's a big blue right there. Doubled up. There we go. That's a meaty one. Whew. Damn, come on in. Big boy in the current. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish, dude. Oh, it's a bass. Striper. What? Yeah. Check that out, huh? That's gonna be a lot easier to handle. That's crazy, man. Did not expect to get a bass here. And that's not a bad fish either. Yeah, buddy. Oh, dude, that's a solid slot. There we go. Solid slot. Thought it was a big old bluefish. Beautiful. All right. Let's let her go. I right, can't get down too low, but send her off right there. Boom. Yeah, buddy. Blue, bluefish? Striper? Nice, all right. So the bass will be coming in. Sick. What was that? Big. Bigger? Yeah. Damn. On the super strike. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Bigger than mine. <laughs> all right, I don't want to get too confident or anything, but I was getting bit every single cast there. Potentially, there could be some more bass out there. That is not what I expected to catch. Every time I think I'm ready to leave, I decide to stay out a little bit longer and fish. And uh, every time it's paid off. Oh, just got bit there. Same exact spot again. Just got bit again. There he is. There he is. Every cast. Every cast, dude. Bluefish. Yeah. Little bluefish. There he is. Here we go. One of the smaller ones of the day, but a lot of bluefish. See ya. All right, folks, welcome to my first ever tailgate TED talk here. So signing off here at the end of the day, it has been quite, quite a long day. We uh, woke up in this truck at uh, nine o'clock this morning and i've been on the water since 11 o'clock and it's uh, almost nine o'clock now i'm just preparing dinner here was going to cook up the rest of the flounder that i caught yesterday but i wanted to save the uh, last couple of minutes of daylight i have here so overall i've definitely marked today as a success even though it was a very very sloppy day we ended up losing five plugs lost a bunch of fish at the rocks lost my uh brand new super strike which was absolutely getting smoked 
uh, every cast, and that's where I kind of ended up calling it. I was getting bit literally every cast, and then uh, one of the guys fishing next to me accidentally crossed my line, had a fish on, so I cut my line to help him out. I had the, the line to my plug in my hand, but a wave came, swept it, and uh, well, that was the end of that. So I actually did go back out there after that, and I just fished for about another 30 minutes or so, and uh, the guys fishing next to me actually caught, apparently, a uh, 50 pounder i'll put the little video here see if you can if you can judge for yourself but definitely a long island 50 bigger than a jersey 50 but despite all the sloppiness and uh fishing the spot for my first time ever we did manage to get a couple fish on the rocks including a 14 pound bluefish uh, a really nice striped bass and a, a plethora of other decent fun fish so this is a three-day series and uh every day has its own theme but so far as it's going it seems to be a a single three-day video yesterday we kind of warmed up a little bit today we kind of figured a couple things out and i'm hoping tomorrow we can really hit it home tomorrow we're going to the surf fishing mecca so stay tuned for that with that being said folks i'm absolutely wiped i'm just i'm exhausted it's been a long freaking day i've had to cook my first meal since that dunkin donut so i'll uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the morning never on the sand baby